Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with today's Daily Diary video. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of Moses called Genesis chapter 9. And so God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth. But the fear of you and dread of you shall be upon every beast of the air, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. But with flesh, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require it. At the hand of every beast will I require it, at the hand of every man, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whosoever sh whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah, and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth, and I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there be neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. Now remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant with, between God and every living creature of the flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth uh, of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. There, these are the three sons of Noah, and of them the whole earth overspread, was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and he it was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. This is very, very powerful stuff here. Um, first and foremost, I... I want to confirm that Genesis 9-4 is not a direct reference to cannibalism. It may be, actually. No, no, no. Oh, he, he doesn't... He... He means don't eat the blood of the animals with the meat. Israelites will be required to very carefully drain the blood from animals before consuming them. Okay. 
quite powerful symbolism given Christ's crucifixion on the cross. Uh, next, I love this passage here in Genesis 9, 6. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Then he says, And you be ye fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. Very powerful. Then he, of course, says that there will be no more flood to destroy the earth, to destroy all flesh. That's from the Lord, at least. It doesn't speak of the rapture that Christ says, but yeah. The rapture that is in the book of uh, St. John. The Re Revelation, excuse me. St. John the Divine. Now, I want to understand Genesis uh, 9, 19. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, very, very, very powerful. Every human being, it says clearly here, comes from Adam, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Every single one. Very, very, very powerful stuff. Yeah, very, very, very powerful stuff. Um, so, clearly, the, the three... Of course, Adam being the the original man, the first man, down through Noah, the antediluvian patriarchs, um, and then from here, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the three men from which all men come from. Amazing. Now, this passage here is very interesting. So Noah becomes drunk, and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren, and so Shem and Japheth covered their fathers. And and their their faces were backward and they saw not their nakedness. Now I did research on this. It's apparently a way to humiliate one's father is to see him naked. And so Ham humiliates he he's attempting to humiliate Noah. But Shem and Japheth don't do that. They instead cover the father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. So they don't believe in the humiliation. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. So Noah curses Canaan. Very powerful stuff. Because again, all men claim lineage. If you believe the Bible, all men claim lineage to Shem, Ham, or Japheth. And then from there, Noah, and then all the way through Adam. And so very, very amazing stuff there. With that Bible done for today, we'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there, and I will now transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I created Chapter 11 of the Final Testament, the Gospel according to Lord Naren White. Now I've created this video, and I'm here. And in terms of how I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. Um, I am being consistent in my life every day, continuing on my path. Today I'm going to take time, more time to rest because the work week is beginning. After my errands yesterday, I'm, I'm not going to work out a day early this week. I'm going to go Monday through Friday instead of Sunday through Thursday, for example, as I did last week. And I'm going to enjoy Friday, Saturday, Sunday off working out because I did a little bit, um, a lot of, uh, relatively, a lot of uh, like lifting and things like that yesterday. So even though I'm not feeling tired, I, I do believe in the value of rest, as I discussed in the Gospel, according to Lord Naren White, Chapter 5. And so I'm going to take rest. Uh, and uh, and now, with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.